like my Etsy shop is a bit of a, it's my online version of my market stall, except I can't be there to physically speak to people, so I have to rely on my Etsy shop speaking for me. Um, so I think first and foremost, I did quite a lot of research and looked around at other shops that I thought were nice and appealing to look at. Um, and I tried to work out what was it that drew me to that and what was it that kind of turned me off other pages. Um, so I did a lot of research before I set up. And then at the end of the day, I thought I'm just going to have to go for it and feel go with what feels natural. And a lot of my work, that's like my, my gut feeling goes with everything. I don't try and contrive things too much. Things that don't feel natural don't generally stick with my work. Um, so I've made that a bit of a personal rule of like um, trends can come and go but I really like just sticking to what feels natural to me um, and, and keep it kind of pure in that respect. Um, Etsy is another community, um, markets are a community but Etsy is a community all on its own, it's almost its own social media. Um, you can make friends on Etsy, you can go around favouriting other people's um, things, you can create treasuries which is really nice to like create a theme and share other people's work within that. That's a nice way of meeting people. They've got so much online stuff to help you. There's handbooks, there's tips on photography, there's loads of stuff. The support is amazing. And you can also go and join teams. I know there's a Glasgow team, um, there's a Dundee team. Some of them are more active than others. Um, so sometimes they'll have like Etsy fairs and things that they'll organize. Um, personally, my work tells stories. So every piece is a bit of a story in itself. Um, I've one in particular, um, I think is quite a, a popular seller. Um, it's Shroom with a View. It's a little house it's sitting on a toadstool. Um, and as soon as you, like you just smiled, as soon as you, you say the name, people are like, all right, okay. And that almost is its story itself, is just the title. Um, and yeah, I just explore titles and why I've created something and make a bit more of it. So my descriptions um, are a bit storytelling and then they go into like the nuts and bolts of what it actually is, um, how big it is, what it's made of, all, all the kind of practical bits that people would like to know. Um, and I think it's really important to get everything in there so people don't have to ask you questions because nine times out of ten I think people wouldn't bother and they'll just go and find another pretty mug somewhere else or another notebook somewhere else. Um, Photos are um, really, really important because there are thousands and thousands of sellers on Etsy. So your photo will get the slightest glimpse if, it's, if people are searching for things. It's maybe slightly different if people are coming from your social media. Um, they already know the photo and they've engaged with that and are maybe going through a different route. But I think if it's from Etsy, um, there's so many people selling things, you need to make it punchy. Um, so the better the photo... Um, you can do. Um, but I try and make my photos tell their own stories as well. Some of my photos, like you'll find a lot of people do things on white backgrounds and black backgrounds, which looks really nice. Um, I tend to do a bit of a mixture of that. I quite like mine to be set in nice settings, like my little paper houses will be in like little mossy groves and dells, or I've made little kind of mountain ranges to go behind them or something, just to kind of make it a bit more engaging and it's not just something plonked down and a photo taken of it. Um, it's not too sterile. So I think there's a happy medium. Um, and I think as long as it's appealing and people know what it is. Um, my descriptions, I think you've got to keep them punchy. Um, put in the keywords, make sure people know what it is. Um, the titles as well, really descriptive and make sure the keywords, there's tags, tag systems in Etsy as well. And I think use the, the ones that are obvious, like again for the toadstool mug, it would be mug, toadstool, illustration. But then you could think outside the box a bit more like, well, woodland or like fantasy or fairy toadstool or something. Just think about all the, the different things that could come along with that one image that might pull different people in. Um, your banner on your shop is your way of making your shop unique and your photos. Um, everything else is the same for each shop. Um, but again, be yourself and be unique. Don't necessarily follow what other people are doing. Like it's your work and your shop, so it should be your look.